Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Erin Scott and I don't usually film my videos in my bedroom, but here we are. Today's video is a little bit different and the reason I am sitting in my bedroom filming is because I am going to be doing a massive wardrobe declutter slash reorganization. If you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that this has been something I've been wanting to do for a very long time now. I've mentioned it in my vlogs. I've asked you guys for your opinion on what I should do when I declutter, like what I should do with all of the clothes. I have a big issue with clothes. I have way too many for one person and that is due to the nature of my job. I do a lot of fashion hauls and try on hauls. I work with a lot of fashion brands. I shoot a lot of content on Instagram for fashion brands. So naturally I just accumulate a lot of clothes and please don't take this the wrong way because I am incredibly blessed and incredibly grateful to be in the position that I'm in. I'm fully aware that this is such a first world problem. And it's something that I've been struggling to come to terms with because I feel really guilty that I am in such an amazing position to have this problem. <laughs> but I need a solution for it. I need to fix it. I've literally got two thirds of our bedroom wardrobe full of clothes of mine, plus our two spare bedroom wardrobes full of clothes of mine as well. So any storage space in my house is basically just full of clothes and I can't continue doing that. So I've been trying to come up with a solution for a while and I've spoken to you guys about this on my vlogs before and asked if you'd be interested in shopping my closet and I got some mixed reviews. I got some people, I got a lot of interest in it and I had a lot of people saying that they would love to be able to shop my closet. And I think that's because you guys align with my own style. That's why you follow me. That's why you watch my try on hauls and my fashion videos. But then I also had a lot of people saying that it doesn't seem right for me to be making money off of the clothes that I am not always buying. Don't get me wrong. I do have a lot of clothes that I purchase myself, but the majority of my wardrobe is stuff that was gifted to me because of a brand collab or due to work. So I completely understand that. And I think that's why it's taken me this long to sit down and finally do it because I was trying to figure out a solution for that. Morally, I agree. I don't think it's right that I make money from this. So I'm super excited to finally have a solution for this. And I feel like this solution is the perfect way for me to meet in the middle with you guys and give you access to my wardrobe while also fulfilling my own morals. So I'm super excited to let you guys know that this video is actually in collaboration with Poshmark. If you're not aware, Poshmark has only just launched in Australia. They are an app slash platform that allows you to buy and sell secondhand fashion and home decor items. So. I feel like this is a really great opportunity for me, not only because of my current situation and it's just providing me with a really great solution, but it's also just a really great sustainable option for a lot of other people who are trying to sell secondhand clothes because it means that the clothes don't have an end of life. They can go on to someone else that is going to get use out of them and it just reduces waste and landfill. So, hi Coop. <laughs> So I'm really excited to be partnering with Poshmark, but the most exciting part of all is that I'm actually going to be donating 60% of my Poshmark profits to a different charity every month. So every month I will be releasing a new collection of clothes onto my Poshmark account and each month I will choose a different charity to donate 60% of the profits to. So I'm gonna kick it off with Share the Dignity, which is a charity that a lot of you guys actually recommended to me. I asked you on my Instagram to suggest or share charities with me that meant a lot to you guys or that just you feel like needed the support. And Share the Dignity actually came up so many times. I personally think it's a really, really great charity. So basically what they do is they supply basic sanitary items to women that live on the streets or women that are fleeing domestic violence. Basically just any women that are desperately in need of sanitary items. And the last thing they should be worrying about in their situation is being able to afford tampons or pads. So I personally feel like it's a really great charity to kick things off with. So I'm super excited to be able to do this and provide this to you guys. Finally, you guys get to shop my closet, but I get to do it in a way that is really fulfilling and I get to give back to the community as well. So 
I'm very, very excited for this, but obviously in order to set up my Poshmark account and bring you guys the first release of clothing, I need to go through my wardrobe and declutter and reorganize. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to kind of like talk you through as I'm doing it and show you how I'm kind of deciding on the type of clothes that I'm going to sell or keep or donate. So hopefully you guys find this interesting. I'm hoping I can get it all done this afternoon, but in all honesty, it might carry over the next couple of days because it's, it's going to be a big job. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link in the description box down below where you can sign up for Poshmark. You can start buying and selling your own secondhand clothes. It's super easy to sign up and you'll have access to so many amazing brands at like up to 70% off, which is absolutely incredible. So like I said, that'll be linked down below. So all Poshmark orders will be sent out using Sendal, which is a highly trusted shipping company. They have a flat rate fee of $9.95, which will be charged to the buyer, which I feel like is a pretty fair price. And you guys will also be able to track your packages through Sendal as well. I need to stop putting this off now. It's time to get into the wardrobe situation. These are my bedroom wardrobes. These two here are mine and then this one is Ben's. So I'm not gonna show you Ben's cause like that's his own stuff, but I just wanted to show you like how much space I am taking up versus how much he's taking up. So yeah, poor Ben doesn't get much space in this house at all. So I'm gonna open this up. It's honestly a mess. I haven't done anything to make it look even slightly tidy for this video. So you guys are seeing the real raw wardrobe as it is. I'm not a very organized person. I'm not a very tidy person. So <laughs> this might be a bit of a shock to some of you. Okay. So honestly, I feel like it doesn't look too bad. You can see the top shelf here has completely bowed. That is from when my wardrobe collapsed. The bar actually completely came off and everything fell onto the ground. And then on the ground, I don't know if you guys, I'll try and show you. Okay, so down there are all my shoes. I have no organization for them at all. I literally just throw them in there. And then every time I need to find a pair of shoes, I just try and like match them up and find a pair. So yeah, a lot of these shoes, I'm probably going to try and declutter as well. Cause there's a lot of stuff that I don't wear anymore. But for the most part, this video is about the clothes. <laughs> so I don't even know where to begin. The most organized part of my wardrobe are the jeans here. As you can see, I have a lot of jeans and I actually have them quite well like laid out and hung. But again, one person doesn't need that many jeans. So I'm probably going to try and get rid of at least half of those. And then everything else here, is just like crammed in. It's so hard to even find stuff when I'm looking for a specific item because there's things just hidden away in amongst like big sweaters and jackets and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I'm dealing with with the wardrobe, but I'm gonna show you guys my drawers as well because there is a lot more stuff in the drawers um, and they are literally bursting <laughs> at the seams. Okay, so these are my drawers. Again, these two here are for me and this third set is Ben's set over here. So I'm not gonna worry about showing you guys that, but they, like you can literally see pieces just poking out because they are so jam packed that I can't even open them properly. So <laughs> this drawer here is full of like skirts and denim shorts and pants that aren't like jeans that aren't hung up in the wardrobe. This is all like bottoms that I can't fit in the wardrobe. So there's a lot of different kinds of stuff in here, but definitely a lot of stuff that can be decluttered. As you can see, I can barely fit anything else in there. Oh my gosh. And then, oh my God. Okay, this drawer here is all of my activewear. Again, one person does not need this much activewear, but here we are. So yeah, hopefully I'm gonna be able to declutter a lot of this stuff as well. I mean, activewear is probably my most worn thing. As you can see, like I'm wearing activewear tights today and I haven't even been to the gym. I just find activewear so damn comfortable. I wear it on a daily basis anyway. 
So this is probably like the drawer that does get used the most, but still one person does not need this much activewear. So <laughs> definitely, definitely need to cut down here. This bottom drawer is kind of a mix of like a few random things. We've got socks over there and then we've also got like the overflow from my pajama drawer which is this one here so again why do i have an entire drawer of pajamas i'm not sure but we're gonna fix that so yeah this is kind of like a bit of a random <laughs> mix of things here but hopefully with this organization i can like manage that one a little bit better this top drawer here is like my bras and undies and stuff, which I'm probably just gonna leave as is. I don't really need to go through and declutter that. This one here is all of my bikinis, which honestly could probably use a declutter. I don't know if I'm just saying that cause it's winter and I'm not wearing bikinis at the moment, but I feel like there's definitely a lot in here that I probably don't need or will never wear again. So I'll figure out a way to get rid of those. I can't really sell secondhand bikinis to you guys unfortunately sanitary reasons and then yeah this is my pajama drawer this is like my loungewear slash pajama drawer it is overflowing if you guys have watched any of my hauls <laughs> you'll know that I have a bit of a loungewear fetish I love loungewear so I don't know if you can see back here on top of the drawer this is a lot of my white fox loungewear that I'm obsessed with, but I just don't have room for it in drawers. So I'm hoping that once I declutter, I'll be able to move all of this stuff into its own drawer space. So that there is a little snapshot of what I am dealing with. I also haven't shown you guys, but there's like another pile of clothes just down there in front of Ben's wardrobe that we were actually putting our laundry away last night. And Ben was like, Erin, we have no coat hangers left. Which is crazy because I literally bought three new packs of coat hangers like two weeks ago and we've already run out of them. So this is why I'm filming this video. It needs to be done. So I guess from here on, I am basically just going to start getting into it. I'm going to start making different piles, one for donations, one for clothes that I want to sell to you guys. And then the third pile is obviously the stuff that I'm going to keep. So I'm going to chuck on something on Netflix so that I've got something to occupy me gonna go into my own little world and I'm just gonna be ruthless and try and cut down this mess. So let's do it. All right, I feel like the first lot was a success. I just went through my jeans and I've managed to cull 10 pairs. So I've got a bunch here that I am going to list on Poshmark and then I've got a few others that I'm going to donate. The difference between the two, like these ones here have just been like worn a lot and you can see that they've been worn. So like these ones are supposed to be black and they have a little bit of discoloration. These ones have faded quite a lot as well. And then again, these. So I feel like these are more for like a donation pile where they can go to a charity bin rather than like expecting people to pay money for them because they have been like really, really well worn. And then these ones here either don't fit me properly. And then, I don't know, a lot of them have got rips in them. I'm just not into ripped jeans anymore. <laughs> I used to be, but I really don't wear them as much as I used to. So a lot of these jeans are, here's another pair, heavily ripped. So yeah, I'm gonna chuck them up on Poshmark and you guys will be able to shop them very soon. So I've switched to my vlog camera just because it's a bit easier to film these style of clips. So I've been through my entire like wardrobe, all of the stuff that was hanging up here. My God, it still looks so full, but I promise I've cleared out this much stuff. 
These are all the empty coat hangers from what I have cleared. So this pile here is the stuff that I am going to list on Poshmark. I'll show you a few items in a second and just um, give you a sneak peek of what's going to go up in my closet. And then I think I showed you that before. They're all a bunch of jeans that I'm going to keep. So I need to add them back into the wardrobe. But I'm just keeping them out for now because I want to see if they'll fit into the drawers when I clear the drawers. But... We'll just wait and see. And then this pile here is all stuff that I'm going to donate. So it's kind of stuff that like has been worn a lot. And like I said before, has kind of like discolored or just like been a bit worn out. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not obviously something that's new that you would want to spend your money on, but it could still go to a good home and be very useful for someone. So I've got a bunch of stuff there, but I'm going to quickly show you some of the items that I'm going to be popping up on my Poshmark closet. I've got this super cute gray knit. I have so many knits, you guys, like way too many knits. I don't need that many. So this is still in perfect, perfect condition. I'm pretty sure I bought this from, I can't even remember. I bought it from somewhere last winter. So I've worn it a couple of times, but it's still in perfect condition. And I figure it's winter at the moment. So one of you guys might get really good use out of this. So I'm going to put that up on my Poshmark closet. This is a super cute black ribbed turtleneck top. I actually bought this for when I went to New York at the end of 2019, just cause like it gets so, so cold over there. And I didn't have anything in my wardrobe that was kind of thick enough that would be suitable for that weather. So I bought this and it was great for New York, but we just don't get cold enough here in Brisbane. So I've not really found a use for it since then. So it's a really, really beautiful top, like so thick and such good quality. I bought it from Beginning Boutique. So gonna chuck that one up as well. Maybe you guys live in like a really cold climate in Australia, or maybe you're on the other side of the world and you just wanna buy some winter warms. That's gonna go up on Poshmark too. And then this little corset, this is so cute, but I just don't know if I'd really get that much use out of it. I bought it from Glassons a few months ago because I had this content idea in mind. I really wanted to shoot a photo in a top like this specifically, and I didn't own one like it. So I bought this from Glassons, shot the photo, wore it once for maybe like an hour for the photo, and haven't worn it since. So... I'm going to chuck this up. It's basically brand new. Super, super cute. It's got like the bra <laughs> clips on it. I don't know what you call them. I know they have a name, but um, there's a lot there and it's really hard to put on yourself. So if you're thinking about buying this, just make sure you have a friend or a partner that can help you do this up at the back. <laughs> I'm also going to be selling this cute two-piece white set. I actually bought this for my sister-in-law's hens party a few months ago from Shopo. And it is so beautiful, like such a nice, cute little set. But because it's white and it's a two piece, I just can't see myself wearing it again anytime soon. And when I actually wore this and posted it on my Instagram, so many of you guys were interested in it and asking me where it was from, saying you've been wanting to get the set, but it was sold out. So I feel like this is going to be really popular. So I figure instead of keeping it in my wardrobe, why not give it to you guys? You guys can have the opportunity to buy it on my Poshmark. I also have a bunch of like midi dresses here just from like weddings that I've been to over the previous years. I've bought all of these myself. This one is the label Chancery which you can get on the Iconic. Such a beautiful label like I love most of the stuff that they sell but I've worn this to a couple of weddings now and I just don't think I'll wear it again but it's such a beautiful dress so <laughs> I don't want it to go to waste. So one of you guys might like it. And then again, same with this one. I bought this one from Beginning Boutique, still has the label on it. I never ended up wearing it because I ended up getting a different color and I liked that one better. So again, this is like brand new, never being worn. Such a beautiful dress would be perfect to wear as like a wedding guest. So I'm gonna chuck that one up there as well. There's a few others like that. There's a few pairs of jeans and jumpers. I've honestly got like a real mix of stuff and this is just from my wardrobe so far. I still have to go through my drawers.
right guys, so I have just finished going through my drawers as you saw and I've managed to take out so much stuff. I just can't explain how satisfying this is. Like if you guys are feeling cluttered and like you need a huge clean out, go to the effort of doing this because it makes you feel so cleansed and accomplished, so worth it. So I've got a pile of stuff down here, including a little cinnamon scroll on the bed. <laughs> um, but this pile is going to be added to my Poshmark closet. It's a bunch of my loungewear and gym stuff. Some of the gym stuff has been worn maybe like once or twice. There's some Gymshark Elite 11. I've got some A brand jeans in there. I've got a whole mix of stuff. So keep your eyes peeled on my Poshmark for that. And then all of this stuff behind me, I've been watching Too Hot to Handle on Netflix while I sort through all of the clothes, but all of this stuff behind me is going to be donated. So I've got a lot of stuff that I can take to donation bins, which is really exciting. And then I've just got a little pile down here of stuff that's like ripped or torn or it came out of my pajama drawer. And like, I feel like my pajama drawer was just full of a bunch of stuff that like, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like if you rip something, you're still going to wear it to bed, but obviously I'm not going to donate that or try and sell that. So I'm just going to pop that into, can I put it in the recycling bin. I need to look into that. Anyways, that's pretty much everything done, which is so exciting. It took me about two days to do, but granted I started yesterday afternoon and it's now 1 p.m. So maybe like five, six hours altogether, but well worth it. Like I said, I feel so just like cleansed. <laughs> Like really really worth the effort and the energy to do and my wardrobes and my drawers have never been so sparse Which is really nice too. So anyways, I'm going to end the video here I will leave my Poshmark account linked down below and also the sign up link in case you guys are interested in Signing up to a Poshmark account yourself Like I said, it is so easy to do and so many people are starting to sell stuff on there from Australia as well So if you have some favorite brands, you can literally select those brands on your Poshmark mark when you're signing up and it will show you people that are selling those brands and you get up to like a 70% discount which is incredible so all of that will be linked down below I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you want to see more I can do like more of a makeup slash beauty skincare version because I really need to start going through those drawers as well but if you enjoyed it please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new around here and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys